So, hello guys, um, in the last part of this exercise, we end up here on a mesh generation and uh, we will, in order to improve mesh generation, we are going to define additional nodes, okay, to help robot do its work. Okay, so let's do it. First thing first, let's go to view menu, go to grid step definition. I'm going to set this as 0 0.25 and 0 0.25, okay? Apply. Very good. I'm going to set the global work plane. I'm going to switch to graphical viewer and select graphically the intersection between X1, Y1 and Z1. Okay, very good. And I'm going to view menu projection XY over here. There you go. When you see, take a look at this. Whenever you see, whenever you see this red square, it means that you are working on a plane. And everything that you do will be on that plane. I could be on this, uh, on this level of C, but I could be out of that plane. I could go in front, but you don't see that box now. It means that you are in a 3D mode. Whenever you see that box, it means you are in a planner mode. Okay, let me switch to 2D, X, Y. Notice the color. If it's red, it means that the height is relative or the position of this plane is related to the axis Z. If, if you select 2D and select YZ, it will turn to blue and XZ will turn to green. I think it's self-explanatory, okay? I'm not going to dive deep in that. Okay, let's define the additional nodes. I'm going to geometry menu nodes this will be the first thing it will be node number one the position will be the intersection between x2 y2 i'm going to turn on the numbering so that you may see the nodes more clearly now x3 x3 y2 also select x3 y3 and x2 Y3 and also the nodes from coordinates 1.25 0 0.5 0 which is over here also one this one over here I want also this one over here and this one over here when robot is going to perform the mesh this will be a well-refined place okay so now I need to copy this I'm going to select all the nodes. I'm going to make a copy, Alt E E M, once again. And in the translation vector field over here, I'm going to enter 400, or it's just four. Zeros are redundant. Here is a trick that you may use. Instead of writing four, I could write a mathematical expression. For example, three plus one. How does robot makes the calculation you just need to enter the equal sign in my keyboard i'll have to press shift and zero it will give me the equal sign notice he calculates this i can make two times two sorry two times two equal sign four this is just a trick i'm showing you here two over here and execute very good. I'm going to select all these nodes and I'm going to make a horizontal mirror. Okay. Edit horizontal mirror 2.75 uh, over here. Very good. Okay. Now I'm going to view menu projection to 3D X, Y, Z. I'm going to close this. Could also pick the little bird house over here. And I'm going to set another global work plane. 
will be between the intersection of the axis x2, y2, z4, x2, y2, z4, x2, y2, z4, this one over here, okay? I want this projection, the x, y projection. We are always picking the x, y projection. I'm going to close this geometry menu nodes. And now I'm going to define additional nodes, okay? I'm going to set the node x, y, x2, y3 over here. Also the x3, y2, this one here, x3, y3, this one here, and x2, y2. And now I want additional coordinates. And uh, to make these additional coordinates, notice that we have uh, make a grid step of 0 0.25 otherwise it will be very difficult to make nodes between these nodes that we defined okay I've done this previously on the base of the foundation if you notice this is why we have changed in the beginning of the exercise the the step grid definition okay now let me go to and define 1.514 Notice that you have here the coordinates down here, okay? This one here, this one here, this one here, and also this one here. Let me close that, select this. As you are working in a fixed plane, everything that you select will be on that plane. So I could make any box that I want. I won't select the nodes that are out of this plane, the nodes that I defined previously on the base of the foundation. And now let's copy them. 49 to 56, okay, Alt E E M. And I guess it's the same thing over here. I'm going to, to write in the translation vector field 4, 0, 0. 4, not going to write a 0, 0. Number of repetitions are two. Execute. Very good. And we will select these nodes and make a horizontal mirror. View menu. Sorry, edit. Edit horizontal mirror. The location is the same. 2.75. Very good. Now I'm going to make an additional node to apply a load. Okay. Geometry menu. Nodes. Node 95. We'll add these coordinates 7.25, 2.75, and 4. Add. Okay, there you go. So now I'm going to show you what would happen if I didn't add those additional nodes where I did and have picked the same options regarding the finite element mesh for this, okay? So I'm going to select one and eight and select those foundation top and base. Select this over here. I'm going to set this at complex element size will be one, okay? And now for the columns, I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to set Delon A also automatic here, and I want the division points to be two. And I'm going to generate the finite element mesh over here. Generation of calculation model. I could go to analysis and generation of computation model. I could pick also this. If I didn't ask for additional nodes, you would get incurrent mesh on edges. Why? Notice that you have no connection between this node and this panel over here. You need to have some kind of connection right here, okay? Same thing over here. And that's, that's what those additional nodes are for. Those additional nodes will fight this incoherent match on edges um, warnings.
you will not be able to calculate your model with the incoherent match on edges problems okay I'm going to run the calculation you'll have instabilities and things like that you will not be able to calculate this and if you see the displacement this is just for the bad load case if you see the displacements you will get things and the uh, crazy things okay this is not well uh, modeled you need to define those additional nodes okay so uh, now i'm running out of time uh, in the next video we will mesh the solid and apply some loads thank you very much and please subscribe